Hey, listen, I don't have a disco in here. I don't have a disco. Well, let's all start dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, thanks for Club Dub. Turn up the volumes on your brand new electric razors, I mean, iPhones, and hang out with me for the next few minutes as we tune into a new episode of Time to Football. I'm your wonderful host, Hassan Khan, and in this video, we're gonna be... Wait a sec, that's not me. That's Shad Khan, Hassan Khan, not Shad Khan. Who's our production guy? Oh, this guy. In this video, we're going to dive into Christian McCaffrey's status of becoming NFL MVP and how he's going to get screwed over because of media bias. Seriously, I can't tell you the amount of journalists that get chubs over the quarterback position. And position bias is going to cause CMC to lose out on the NFL MVP. But before we get into all of that, we have to give a big thank you to Overlay DFS for making this video possible. It's daily fantasy football where every matchup is in a start or sit format. Pretty much, you just guess which player is going to have more fantasy points for that week. In this specific lobby for this week, some of the matchups include Dalvin Cook versus Alvin Kamara, Cooper Cup versus Travis Kelsey, and Julio Jones versus DeAndre Hopkins, and so much more. There's a grand prize of $25,000 if you are perfect in your predictions. And if you're not perfect, you just gotta place in the top 10% and you win nine times your money. This is so much fun, it's worth it. Go check out www.overlaydfs.com. Now we have to continue recapping last week with the most prestigious award on this show, the hungriest player of the week. Hungriest player of the week, the one that wanted it the most. 49ers defensive end Nick Bosa had two sacks and caused a fumble and a 31-3 victory over the Cleveland Browns this past Monday night. But what makes him the hungriest player that wanted it the most are the events that led up prior to that game. For starters, let's talk about at that game, the pregame coin toss, when Richard Sherman ignited the 49ers defense, he said that Baker Mayfield did not shake his hand when clearly we see the footage and dude, he's shaking your hand. I mean, what else does Richard Sherman want? Does he want an HJ from Baker? <laughs> I get to the forward on the show. Otherwise I get demonetized, but Sherman is known to be a very emotional person. When you try me with a sorry quarterback, like Mayfield, that's the result you're gonna get. But mainly Bosa remembers when Baker Mayfield planted the flag at Ohio State. It's safe to say that Bosa got his revenge. And that is why he is the hungriest player of the week. Now let's get into our video and talk about why Christian McCaffrey will not win the NFL MVP award. But first, let's look into his stats and see why he should be considered, at least, for the NFL MVP. Take a look at his stats. You got 866 total yards, 7 total touchdowns, 31 receptions. He's on pace for a very historic year for a running back. McCaffrey is on pace for 22 total touchdowns and 2,800 total yards for the season. That's unbelievable. So why won't he win the NFL MVP? It's because of media bias towards quarterbacks. It seems like every year the NFL MVP just becomes the best quarterback on the best team. And I was sitting down and I was thinking, how do I portray this message? What's a good example to give you guys? And I remembered back in the day, about a few years back, I made a video talking about why J.J. Watt was snubbed from winning an NFL MVP, and it was given to Aaron Rodgers. We're gonna show a little bit of that video, so go ahead, check this out. We're gonna get back to you. In 2014, J.J. Watt recorded 20.5 sacks, 78 tackles for a defensive end, which is impressive, five fumble recoveries, an interception, two defensive touchdowns, oh, and three touchdowns on offense. Yes, three receiving touchdowns for a defensive end. What more does the man have to do? So who won the MVP that year? Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers had an impressive season with 38 touchdowns to only five interceptions, but he did not make history at his position. JJ Watt made history. Let's use this analogy. Let's say for this example, sacks are to a defensive end what passing touchdowns are to a quarterback. 
The NFL record for passing touchdowns in a season is 55. Rodgers threw 38. The record for most sacks in the season is 22.5. Watt had 20.5. So if we find a common denominator and convert those sacks into passing touchdowns, then if Watt was a quarterback, he would have thrown 50.1 touchdowns that year. You're telling me that 50 touchdowns won't win an MVP? Plus the tackles and fumble recoveries for extra fluff to pad his stats? Now, many of you are going to say, well, Rodgers is the more valuable player. Without him, the Packers would not be as good. The Texans are the same team without J.J. Watt. And to that, I have to say to you, there is no definitive way of proving that. Who knows? What if the Texans were in a situation where they needed the ball back and one of Watt's sacks led to a fourth down that caused the opposing team to punt and the Texans were able to score and win the game. That clip that we showed you was from a top 10 NFL MVP uh, snub video that we created a few years back. And some other names that were snubbed were Priest Holmes back in 2003. There's Jerry Rice, the year that he had 22 touchdowns in 12 games. Both times those players were snubbed at winning the NFL MVP because the award was given to the best quarterback that season. So to sum it up, it's a quarterback driven league. And this season, that quarterback is Russell Wilson. Zero interceptions, maybe even Patrick Mahomes. He hasn't thrown a pick all season long. I understand why they would win the NFL MVP, but I feel like McCaffrey isn't gonna be given a fair chance at winning the award because of the obsession of quarterbacks by the media. The MVP just goes to the best quarterback on the best team, and it shouldn't be treated like that. Mahomes and Wilson are having some pretty solid seasons, so it's a tough topic to talk about this season, but I wanna hear from you guys. Should we be giving more of a fair chance to other positions for winning the NFL MVP? And if so, who's your pick to win NFL MVP? Russell Wilson, Patrick Mahomes, Christian McCaffrey, maybe even someone else. Leave a comment down below, join the discussion. I wanna hear from you guys. But that's all we have on this episode of Time to Football. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment down below. Again, talk to us about your NFL MVP vote. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date when we come out with a new episode every single week. Also, hit me up on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. The username for all three is at Time to Football. Again, thank you guys for watching this video and enjoy week six.